Hey friends, geometry, area of irregular shapes. What is an irregular shape? In this lesson, you could say it's irregular, or you, maybe you could say it's a compound shape. Because we are going to look at shapes like this, we're going to break them into to multiple shapes. So, when finding the area of an irregular shape, break it into simple shapes, more simple shapes, right? And then add the areas of those shapes together. So, let's look at this. Could we add a line here? Yeah, we could. And then now you have an area of this big box that is what? 5 times 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That, look, that's simple. That's 7 times 5 is 35, okay? That's 35 squares. How big is this? How do we figure it out? Because uh, don't we have missing measurements right here? Yeah, we do. It's big time. But look, 9 is a, from top to top, or, you know, side to side. And this is only 7. So what is 9 minus 7? That's 2. Look, 9 minus 7, so 2. So you have 1, 2, and then, you know, 1, 2, 3. So that's 6. 2 times 3 is 6. 35 plus 6 is 41. The, the, the area of this shape, of this irregular shape, is 41 centimeters squared. Because there's two dimensions. There's only length times width. Okay? So, going again. More irregular shapes. What do we do? Well, let's find some missing. So this is 9. 4 and 3 is 7. So we're missing 2. This is 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. Plus 3 is 9. So from side to side is 9. And this is 6 from top to bottom. That's 3. Oh, okay, so check this out. Can't we do this? This is 3. So it's half. So this would be, um, well, it doesn't even matter right now. So that's 9, right, for this square. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8. And what is, oh, look, this is 2 here, right? So 2, and this is 5 total. What's 5 minus 2? That's 3, right? If you combine, that's 5. So 3 times 9 is 27. So our area is 17 plus 27. 17 plus 27 is 14, 44. 44 centimeters squared is the area of this irregular shape. And here, we broke it into three different squares, or three different rectangles, right? It's pretty cool. That's, that is... With geometry, you just have to break things down. You break them down into what they are made up of, okay? Break things down into simpler, simpler shapes. So let's just, um, let's do this, this way, right? Because we could have done it like this, uh, vertically, but 4 times 10 is 40. And this is 9 feet from top to bottom, and this is 4 feet. So 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. What's 21 times 5? That's 105, right? 21 times 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 105. So combined, our answer is 145 feet squared. That's the area of this irregular shape. 145 feet squared. Square feet. <laughs> Whoa, our last problem. The most difficult, the most complicated, it seems. And there's a few different ways you can break this down. So the, I would recommend pause the video right now, solve it yourself, and then check your answer against uh, what I do. Okay, so let's do, let's do this. Nine times three is 20. Seven. So from top to bottom is 14. And this is 3 centimeters 
and this is two centimeters, so that's five. Right? Fourteen minus five is nine, right? And we already knew that because this is nine. So that good. Our work is checked so far. This is twenty-seven centimeters squared. And then let's do this. So 15 centimeters minus 3 centimeters. So 15 minus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. Right? So 12 times 5 is 60. And then 3 times 2 is 6. So what is 66? 6 plus 6 is 66 plus 27. It's 13, 93 centimeters squared. That's our area for this great irregular shape, big irregular shape, uh, compound shape. So, thank you for watching these videos. Uh, let me know if, if you need another video, if, if something's missing, or, or if there's any questions that I can help you with. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time.